we chose the topic of rehabilitation of structures using FRP RAP because it is very applicable to our current state of infrastructure. Civil engineers are set with the task of rehabilitating a large quantity of structures and bridges in the coming years. FRP is a material which could heavily reduce the cost of these repairs while increasing the longevity and strength of the structure. Fiber reinforced polymer, FRP, is a two-part material composed of strong tensile fibers found in an organic polymer matrix. This combination may differ greatly from various kinds of fibers and their anastropy. <laughs> with a range of polymer resins to create the reinforcing material, although FRP has an extensive list of applications, it can be used as a strengthening method for reinforced concrete structures and has been a material of research for many decades. FRPs have been widely used for the past century in areas of aerospace, marine, electrical, and corrosion resistance industries. Across the world, civil infrastructure is a huge investment which yields high cost for repair and rehabilitation. As an example, in the US, an estimated 35% of all bridges are deemed defective and in need of repair. Research in civil engineering in the areas of repair, rehabilitation, and reinforcement are being explored as the costs of replacement are high and unsustainable. FRP creates a better solution for deteriorating structures with its relatively inexpensive cost to provide concrete strengthening in flexor, shear, and axial loading. Typically used materials for the fibers in an FRP composite include carbon, glass, aramid, and basalt, with carbon and glass being more common due to well-developed testing and available resources. The matrix is commonly made of epoxies, polyesters, vinyl esters, and phenolics. Epoxy-based matrices are widely used as they are also readily available and have been proven successful in many research test methods. Fiber reinforced polymer has been widely used for several decades in civil engineering applications to strengthen and restore existing structures. While the list of applications for FRP is extensive, in the areas of civil engineering, FRP is most commonly used as a strengthening and reinforcing agent to deteriorating structures such as beams, columns, slabs, and walls, bridge deck panels, and bridge systems. The deterioration of structures can be a result of age, misuse of facilities, lack of repair when an issue did arise, as well as a lack of maintenance. The other common use in civil engineering is to increase the strength and durability of a structure because a change in demand such as loading capacity and frequency has occurred, or a change in industry standards and rules has taken place. FRP is also being implemented in new construction to provide maximum lifetime capacity and serviceability. There, these uses include FRP dowel bars and concrete highway pavements, tie connectors, and FRP grid shear connectors for concrete sandwich wall construction. Fiber reinforced polymer is a two-part material composed of strong tensile fibers bound in an organic polymer matrix. The composite layer is an engineered material which is made up of two or more constituent materials with different physical and chemical properties that attribute to the environment in which it's being applied to. The different layers remain separate and distinct within the finished structure. The original polymer material is known as the matrix and is tough but relatively weak. Fibers are added in a woven or braided form to add reinforcement, elasticity, and strength to the material. The level of enhancement of the new material depends on mechanical properties of the fiber and matrix, their volume relative to one another, and the fiber lengths and orientation within the matrix. When applying F RP to a deteriorating structure for the purpose of rehabilitation, the temperature, moisture presence, and surface preparation plays a large role in the bonding ability of FRP to the existing structure. Commonly, an epoxy resin is used to bond the fibrous materials to the structure. However, the structure needs to be properly cleaned of any chemicals and dirt to achieve proper bonding and no unwanted reactions or further corrosion in the future. Curing time of the matrix takes between one to three days, depending on the matrix, the composite fibers, and the environment. Fiber reinforced polymers are highly advantageous due to its high strength to weight ratio and its strength in flexure, shear, and axial directions due to the intricate placement and strength of the fibrous material. FRP's high strength to weight ratio correlates with easy handling and fast application rates for the variety of uses. 
This is beneficial when the material is to be used in overhead applications or along the side of a structure. FRP has a higher stress capacity than common steel and are linear elastic until failure. FRP can provide a maximum material stiffness to density ratio of 3.5 to 5 times that of aluminum or steel. It has high fatigue endurance limits and has the ability to absorb impact energies. Joints and fasteners are also eliminated or simplified as there are far fewer connections because FRP can be molded into any desired shape whether it, whether it is linear or not. FRP's non-corrosive nature aids in extending the lifetime of the structure and internal corrosion resistance is significantly increased. Another advantage of FRP is the heavy amount of research which aids in the guide of various uses and application methods as well as the materials and any information is readily available to consumers. Among the extensive attributes of FRP, there are many disadvantages inhibiting many factors. This includes failure at glass transition temperature. When FRP composites reach this high temperature gradient, the mechanical properties are significantly reduced, as the material will lose its hardness. Additionally, the resin used can be expensive as well harmful to workers applying the material. Proper safety methods have to be implemented to reduce improper inhaling of chemical fumes. More disadvantages may include difficult bonding between resin and substrate at low temperatures and must be applied on dry surfaces. This leads to application problems in regions of the world where it is very cold or high precipitation areas. FRP production consists of two distinct processes. The first process being where the fiber is manufactured and the second where the fibers are bonded with the matrix. Manufacturing of the fiber mats are done in large industrial areas where access to large clean facilities are available. The production of the two-dimensional fibers is very complex and requires either expensive industrial robots or highly skilled labor to complete. In two-dimensional fibers, the fibers are woven along the plane of the X and Y direction. This requires a very time-intensive process as the placement, stacking, and cutting of the materials are crucial to the performance of the final product. When the fibers are bonded with the matrix, wet layup is the preferred method. Upon placement of the FRP on the structure, workers lay the mats of fiber on the prepared surface and saturate with resin. This process is also time-intensive as it is crucial to fully saturate the fiber as an unsaturated spot may lead to failure. This process is repeated with more mats of fiber until the desired thickness is achieved. One of the major problems of using FRP as a repair method is a common failure mode of epoxy debonding at the concrete surface. This can be due to improper application processes, lack of surface prep of the concrete, environmental factors, and even inaccessible locations of the member in need of repair. To improve bonding, workers add a groove to the concrete to increase the surface area of contact. Being a structural reinforcement material with such unique properties, RFP wrap is unfortunately is currently limited in indoor building use to mostly office spaces and parking garages due to fire restrictions. However, it is obvious from the mechanical properties of the material itself, it can be more commonly used in more setups or even as a standalone material. Today's level of industrialization and processing convenience makes material like RFP composite with its lightweight, high strength, corrosion preventative potential and applicability compared to steel, wood or brick, an extremely important field of study. Asian manufacturers already take advantage of using RFP in not only reinforcing beam structures and building materials, but also in the miscellaneous outdoor fixtures of all sizes and shapes, making an independent from manufacturer research in environmental impact and long-term studies a necessity to ensure safety of common public. Not limited to one region multiple comprehensive evaluation and reference design data studies aimed at various aspects of hazard potential and business will be required as soon as possible to reflect the philosophy of an end user of RFP material. Modeling effect that can be achieved from testing the material use in a structure as a whole leads to a conclusion that an integrated technology program must be commenced. The current state of infrastructure in the developed world, and particularly Canada, creates a great potential for the exploration and research of FRP use. 
Without delay, civil engineering field is obliged to respond with the cost-effective solution to rehabilitation of transportation systems and buildings. The pressure, with its big and clear financial burden, combined with globalization and spread of trade treaties, like European Union Canada, that was signed recently, puts us at risk of introducing not fully understood materials like once was asbestos. Pending influx of new items which CETA or TVP south of the border should allow for better standardization of products and materials. Thus, expanded market will require more collaboration between the industry and research academia. Such collaborations should be two-sided and one be concluded in conjunction with another. As many successful research studies, although found promising, are not used or supported by the government funds or industrial demand. In general, research is required for the purpose of decreasing the cost of maintenance and improving structural behavior of existing or new assemblies in the context of collaborative work of the field and academia. In conclusion, FRP is a very effective way of strengthening structures. The material also provides a very cost-effective alternative to repair and rehabilitation. Lastly, the range of applications is vast including aerospace, missile technology, automotive industry, high-speed machinery, the marine industry, and lastly, civil engineering.